Welcome back to the MLG Pro League Season 3 coverage here on the Esports Report. Max is joining me in the studio. I almost have said my name is Max, but I would never want to say that because Max is a failure at everything he tries to do in life. Uh, mm. Now it's time for that part of the show where we do the Vulcan picks, breaking down some of the best teams you could possibly find in tonight's matches. Max, how on earth do you Vulcan? I'm going to teach you how to Vulcan. Um, honestly, first, you're going to take your butt over to Vulcan.com. Okay. Up, take your butt over to Vulcan.com. Take, take your butt over. Sign up for an account there. You know, use code MLGCOD for a 100% deposit bonus match up to $1,000. So you put $1,000 in, Vulcan will match that right away. Huge for them. And then obviously you can compete in leagues against your friends in virtual money or real money. Yep. You're going to pick a team of eight players using $10,000 of salary money to allocate amongst players. You know, Skump, he might be worth $1,700. TCM, he might be worth $700. So you pick a team, allocate your money the best you can, and then obviously compete against players by picking a shot caller. That player will get 25 more points as well, 25% more points yep. in your matches, and then obviously fight for which team you think your team will win right here on MLG.TV. Yeah, really, something new to Season 3 so far, Vulcan. We've been having some fun picking our team so far in the office. Now we're doing a new thing where we break down some of the booms, some of the busts, and some of the bargains, really. The booms, the players who you think are going to absolutely step up tonight in the matches. The busts, the teams, or the players that are worth a lot of money that might underperform or might have a match that goes quickly 3-0 and might not even be worth your time because Vulcan is based off of how many games the teams play as well. Right. So if you pick the best player in the game, you pick Azuma and it goes three games and phase stomps and he just has some pretty average games, well, he's going to get that much score versus a player who went all five games, got two more opportunities to get as much score as possible, and now just out of that, he gets more points and gives me an advantage up against you. Something always to look out for. We're going to start with the boom of the day. Max, who is it? Yesterday, it was Zuma. Today, it's that man himself as well. He's great. Zuma, costing $1,511 today for Face Clan. Honestly, right now, he's in the debate for the top player overall in all of AW. Top 10 in almost every statistical category. Yep. TCM might be able to force a game four tonight, really get to that second hard point. It'll be really important for Zuma to put up some more points yep. in the score department. He's up from $41 yesterday, but honestly, that $1,500 is well spent. Honestly, if I'm picking him, he's automatically my shot caller. He's someone that has yet to fail me in season three so far in picking the teams. And also, for $1,500, it's expensive, but it's an investment. You want him to be on your squad. Trust me in that one. That's a look at Zuma, our boom of the night. Max, you picking him on your team? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Very important pick. He's I think, my shot caller. Yeah, he's your shot caller? Oh, yeah. Ooh, well, well, we're going to get to my team. Spoilers. I think Scump is 1,700 tonight as well. So for 200 less, you get Zuma, who's you know right there in terms of Honestly, flame production. statistically, what we've seen so far in Season 3, arguably just up there with Scump, or even better. Scump's numbers are down a little bit so far in this season so far. Yep. And I mean, Zuma has looked so good. Like I said, top 10 in every statistical category. I think Elevate vs. Orbit, uh, OG, excuse me, has a chance to go maybe four or five games a little more than FaZe vs. TCM does. Yeah. But I think it's a safe bargain betting those $200 less on Zuma. Absolutely. That was your boom of the night. Now we're going to move into our bust. And really, for the price at the moment, our bust has to be replays. Currently sitting at $1,561. Really, for the price, just not worth it. That's such a large investment when you have a player like Zuma, who you know is going to drop massive score. Really, no matter who he goes up against, you got to feel more confident in that one. Replays. Not selling it enough for me to make that $1,500 investment. I mean, he'll put up a good score in that OBJ department. In the slain department, not so much. I think Denial Envy yep. is the game that has the best chance to go five games tonight in our scuff showdown. But, I mean, going up against, like, Aqua and Looney on the Envy side in that SMG role is going to be really tough. Yeah. Like you said, $50 more than Zuma. So, like, obviously you want to spend less money, get Zuma, who you know is going to put up huge numbers. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, Replay is a very talented player. Just not worth the money today. That's going to be our bust of the day, Jack. Going in, though, to our bargain. We have two bargains again. Who's our number one, Jack? Our first bargain has to come from the new pickup of Orbit, TCM. Currently sitting at only $799. That's a player who is going up against Rise tonight, a series that can definitely go all five games. Also, on the student lineup, wants to prove himself. He's going to be giving it his all in every single match he plays. Expect to see him put up some big numbers tonight versus Rise. Yeah, this series should go a minimum of four games as well. Yeah. Was playing well for Rise. Just, you know, didn't really get the time to really gel with that team. Yep. Kind of just traded. So for $799, if you pick a big player like Skump, you can balance that out with TCM. But one more bargain of the day. He was our bargain of the day last week. This one's crazy. Well. Saints. 
$939. Yesterday he was our bargain at $945, Jack. He went down six bucks. Also, just a great bargain. Oh, and they're going up against Optic Gaming. And then this match really they could they could force a game four. hundred percent they could force a game yep. four. And if they do, that is completely worth it. You know Saints is gonna be one of the big players on his squad. He is every single night for Elevate, and at only nine hundred and thirty nine dollars, that's more than a steal. Definitely a must pick if you're building a team tonight. Yeah, I mean he put up almost 109 points last night against Optic yeah. Nation. Elevate has looked good so far against OG, like I said, in that 10K, clutching it up, making it to the finals over them. So, you know, like I said, potentially go four or five games. $900 well spent, in my opinion, on Saints. So that's a look at your boom, busts, and bargains. Once again, quickly going over them, your boom of the night. Zuma, $1,511, more than worth it for the stats. Your bust replays, sorry, Chris, I love you, bud, but $1,561. You just can't justify spending that much money on him tonight, especially when he's going up against those aggressive subs of Envy and Aqua and Looney. Our booms or our bargain, sorry, TCM, $799 now on Orbit. He's going to be giving it his all tonight. Does not want to let down the Orbit Zone fans. And then finally, Elevates Saints. The Red Rebellion. $939. You really can't beat that for one of the strongest players in the last, well, few games of, uh, of Call of Duty. Oh, 100%. One of the most consistent players in all Call of Duty. He Especially went, Ghosts. Yeah, he put the second amount, most amount of points on his team last night, yep. and he went down $6. So 100%. Works for me. Pick him up again. I think it's a great pickup, but I mean, tonight is going to be you versus Ben. Easy win. Picks. Easy win. Our first team, we'll take a look at Ben's team, the Pandas in Pajamas. I love his team name. Let's take a look at his picks. He went with our bargain of the day in TCM Yo, on Orbit. TCM's glasses. Great pick from TCM there. I love those glasses. Followed by him is Hook from the Nile, the Young Gun. Karma, two-time world champion from Optic Gaming, and then TJ Halley from Elevate rounds out his first four, Jack. Ben's got some confidence in Karma. Picking Karma as his shot caller, something that I might not have gone with. Maybe I would have gone with Hook, but hey, let's see if it pays off for him tonight. Elevates, or elevates TJ Halley with some crazy stats so far in Season 3. The highest Slayer rating in that card at the moment, 33 kills per respawn, and then that 1.14 KD, more than worth that $1,400 cost. The second half of his team, though, just as strong as the first. Here is really those sub players that you're going to see dominate all night long. Attach, Slack, Scump, and Aqua. Oh, huge four picks out of Ben to round out his you know, top eight, honestly. I mean, you see Attach and Slack both averaging a 1.01 KD, nearly averaging 30 kills per game between both of them. Slack kind of trailing a little there to Attach. Scump and Aqua, though, huge numbers out of both of them. I mean, Aqua, $1,100. Big buy, in my opinion. Um, you know, just to note as well, Ben's shot caller for the night will be Karma from his first page. Going to be interesting. It's a really interesting pick for your shot caller over someone like Scump, maybe even like a Tatch or TJ. You know, we've seen Pocket and Matt both pick TJ as their shot caller on multiple nights. Yep. But that's going to be Ben's team, the Pandas in Pajamas. Jack, Slight work. what is your team name? What is your team? My team, which was picked by others in the office. I was, no, it wasn't. It was your team. Jack o -Matic. I mean, I'll go with it. Whatever. It was your team. This is a look at the lineup that's going to win tonight. I have Saints from Elevate, Crimson from Optic Gaming, Slack from Elevate, and then J Capped from Envy. Now you look at these four players and say, oh, one of these guys has to be the shot caller. Nope, I'm saving him for later on in my lineup. All four players doing a great job so far in season three. If Cap can step up tonight for Envy, fully expect them to be able to take the sneak, take the series from denial. Right now he's sitting at a 0.97 KD so far in season three with that 20. 8.39 Slayer rating, just over $1,050 cost, more than worth my investment. My big player, though, on the screen, Crim6, $1,428 cost, the 1.02 KD. He's actually going up against Saints tonight. Excited to see that battle. That's my first four picks. On the other side of things, though, it gets just as good. Wow. Hook from Denial, Zuma from Phase, Skump from Optic Gaming, and then Happy to finish out my lineup. This is a team that's going to be tough to beat. Hook, the 1.13. Zuma, the 1.13. And then Scump, probably the most expensive player on all of Vulcan right now. $1,710. That just shy of 34 Slayer rating. Pretty ridiculous stuff. Now, if you ask me who's my shot caller for the night, it's got to be Zuma. Someone who's impressed me time and time again. One of the big slaying powerhouses from FaZe. Doing everything for his team in Search and Destroy. Leading the lead in for, league in First Bloods. Monster Knight coming from him in his matchup. Later on, 
I don't know. Maybe it's my ego. Maybe it's me just being overly confident. Or maybe it's the fact that I have the best team out there. I don't see how it lose tonight to bet. Jack O'Matic. I like a team. I mean, tough decision between Zoom and Scum for Shot Caller. Yeah. You have two explosive subs on your team that'll round out your eight. So that's going to be absolutely nuts. Both you guys are picking a bargain of the day. Ben going with TCM. You going with Saints. Both of you guys both have Slack. I noticed that as well. But, I mean, both of you guys avoiding the bust of the day. Yesterday, our bust of the day was Facento. Matt actually picked him and ended up losing. So, you listen to us. Listen to us. And you win. I mean, also, you got the boom of the day in Zuma. Arguably the best player so far. And I'm ready. Season three. I'm ready. Jackal Matic versus Pandas in pajamas. I'm going to say Jackal Matic takes it just because. Pandas. I'm right here. And you, I, 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 I went for Handshake. Oh, okay. Handshake. We'll, go, we'll go with that one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the eSports Support. Do not go anywhere, though. Just after this quick commercial break, we'll have the first series of the night of the MLG Pro League Season 3. Stay tuned.